Hello and welcome back everyone. I'm Ria, one of the product managers here at Plane. I hope you're all enjoying using Plane and making most of its latest features. In the previous video, we touched upon the topic of issues on Plane. Today, we're going to dive a bit deeper into the subject and explore how you can set up personalized workflows for your project management. Specifically, we'll be discussing about the effective ways on how to manage states in Plane. So let's jump right into it. For this demo, I'll be using a new project in the Plane Cloud version. Let me use the shortcut to create one. You can simply type in P on plane to create a new project. Let me give it a name as Mission Mars. And as you can see that the project has now been created. Let's dive right into the issues for the Mission Mars project. I'll start by creating a new issue with the title sign in with OTP is required. So the issue has now been created. Now let's talk about states in plain projects. Project states defines how a work item or an issue progresses from its creation to closure. These states defines the user stories and describe its progression. When you create a new project in plain, we have a default settings that automatically populates the states with five predefined options, each of which is self-explanatory. These states are backlog, unstarted, started, completed, and canceled. These five states play a crucial role in ensuring that all your issues are being tracked accurately. They also provide valuable insights into your progress of the project, allowing you to stay informed about your overall performance. Now let's take an example. Suppose if I want to add two new states to the backlog group, I can simply do that using this add option here next to the backlog. Let me give this state a name as ideas and the description would be this state will be used to list all my issue ideas and simply click on this create to create a new state under the backlog group. Let me create one more state with the name iceberg. Let me give it a description as this state will be used to list issues that I am unsure about the priorities of them and create it. With incorporating these two additional states in the backlog group, I can better organize and manage my backlog effectively. Now let's go back and see how the list and the Kanban view looks like. There you go. As you can already see that both of these two new states have now been added to my workflow. And the best part is that both of these states will be visible in the Kanban view as you can see here, as well as in the list view. Awesome. Similarly, you can add n number of states to your project workflow. Let's take another example. Let's add more states to the completed group. Usually for a feature or work when done can undergo multiple testing phases. To organize them accordingly, let's add a few new states to the completed group. For that, I'll be deleting the existing one and adding a few new states here. Let me add the first state with the name testing and create one. And let me delete this done state. So as you can see, the state has now been deleted. Let me add another state with the name staging and give it a different color, green and create. And the last state would be the production. Let me change the color to purple and create it again. As you can see that these three states have now been created under the completed state. Additionally, you have the flexibility to reorder states based on your specific workflows. To do this, you can simply hover over the desired states and utilize these arrows to set the order as needed. As you can see that I have done it this way. So these are all about states and I hope you enjoyed this video. 
Thanks for watching.